Okay, hello there everybody, and this is a video for those of you that are on our Trust Your Gut program where we're really trying to help get all the inflammation out of your gut tract, and we're trying to actually heal up a leaky gut is what it's called. So this is the part of the test we've already done the first 30 days where you've eliminated the foods in phase one, and now we're trying to get to the part now where you're going to reintroduce your foods, and this is called the COCA test, after Dr. COCA, C-O-C-A, that came up with the test. Basically what happens is when you expose your body to a food that's not good for you, your heart rate is either going to go up or down up to like five points. So if it's three to five point difference, and we'll talk about what that means in a minute, and I'll show you how you do it on this. A three to a five point difference, you're just going to repeat the test. If it's a one or a two point difference, you're fine, you can eat that food. But five or over, you have to eliminate that food and not reintroduce it yet. So we're going to start out with the citrus, which is the first one that you'll reintroduce for yourself. So first, I want to show you this pulse oximeter and show you what it looks like. Can you see that okay in there? Mm -hmm. Down a little bit? Down a little bit? Yeah. Like that? Okay. So we're not going to worry about the numbers, okay, because the numbers will vary. What I want you to notice are, are these bars that go up and down. And every time that bar goes up and down, that's one beat. So I'll show you. Wow, my heart is going pretty quick. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's how you're going to count those. Again, the bar is going up and down, goes up all the way and down one time. That's a heartbeat. Okay, so you're not going to work the numbers, just the pulse, three, four lines in there going back and forth. Okay, so back to the test. So you are going to want to sit down for three to five minutes by yourself. Let yourself just calm down. Don't have family members in here all hollering at you and shouting at you and telling you, oh, that food's good for you, bad for you. You don't want that. Just be by yourself. Let yourself relax. You're then going to start the pulse oximeter by pushing it, put it on your finger, and you're going to push that white button, and that's going to start it. And then that'll get those numbers, the bars going up and down. So what you're going to do is you're going to time for 60 seconds how many times those bars go up and down. Okay, so when we do the, again, when we do the, the, the pulse oximeter test, every time that bar goes up and down, that's one, one beat. And you're going to count how many times that does that in 60 seconds. So get a clock by you that goes ding after 60 seconds. So go ahead and start it, Lisa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 43, 44. 4, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. All right, so 58. So what that means is we have 58 heartbeats in that 60 seconds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reset the timer, first of all, for another 60 seconds. Now I'm going to just put one of the pieces of citrus in my mouth. So when you put it in your mouth, you can chew it a little bit, get like a taste of it in your mouth, but don't swallow it. And you're going to keep it in your mouth for the 60 seconds that we're doing the test again. So we'll go like a 3, 2, 1, and I'll put this in my mouth and can start the timer, okay? So 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 
58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 66. All right, so that was 67. So in the COCA test, because he went from a 59 to a 67, that would be a positive finding. So I would not start eating, and that was the oranges, okay? So again, if that comes to five points or more, either more or less, if it's less, it's another physiological function in your body, it's a form of adrenal stress, and then that also is a positive finding. So that's the COCA test. So you would rinse out your mouth before you put the next piece of food in there, and you would just repeat that test, all right? So again, you may want to have some help to have somebody you know, set the timer for you so you're not worrying about that. I was worrying about talking to you and doing the test, and that's why my heart rate got up a little bit. That's probably not a realistic finding for me. But while you're doing that test by yourself, you'll just put the food in your mouth, just relax, and just watch the timer and not be narrating this, okay? And so that's the COCA test. So that's how you reintroduce those foods. You don't reintroduce the food if it shows up five or more on that COCA test. Hope that helps. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for being a part of our program. We're really excited about watching you regain your health.